So we are currently in State College, Pennsylvania at our house, but we are headed south to Bedford, Pennsylvania, which is all the way down near the Maryland border. So we are going to Bedford, Pennsylvania to visit the Omni Bedford Springs Resort. It is a historic resort in the middle of Pennsylvania, kind of near Maryland, and it's very exciting. It is known for its spa, and it is supposedly haunted. This hotel is over 200 years old. I think it was built in 1806, if I'm correct, but it's over 200 years old. It's loaded with history, so I'm very excited to stay there, and I hope Frankie the ghost, I just gave the ghost a name, pays a visit to us because who doesn't love a good ghostly experience? Am I right, Holly? You're right. Hi. Hi. Good for you. Sure. Last name? Riddle. What do you think of the resort so far? It's very pretty. It's very nice. All right, room tour Omni Resorts in Bedford Springs, room 159. Here we go. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the room is that you have carpet floors throughout the room. To your right, you've got a nice mirror with some light so you can get your beautification on before you head out the room. And right next to the door, you've got some wooden canes, very elegant. You can see the ceiling, also nice with this, I don't know what you call that, but very elegant. There's also a classic photo right here in the entryway. This is from 1895. So as we move into the room here, you can see it is a very nice sized room. Got a big old king size bed, lots of storage here if you wanna put your things away and over here as well. Just off to the left, as soon as you walk in, you have a little table stand with a phone. Of course, you can do whatever you need to do here. Over here to the right, we have some closet space, but the best part is the Keurig machine followed up by the teapot. We've got some nightstands here alongside the bed. The bed looks very nice. I've already laid down on it, of course. Now here is the TV area and you can see there are some goodies here. They brought these to us. This is like a honey tray and some other stuff. And they even brought us a bottle of wine. And then back there, that's your stuff to get your drinks flowing, your ice going, you know what I'm saying? If you're wondering why they brought us that stuff, it's because Holly's reviewing the property. She's a travel rider. And in this corner, you've got a sitting area. And then there's also this area right here which you can sit on or you can put your luggage on to help do whatever you need to do. Very nice. Now there are two really cool things about this room. One of them is out here, the other one is back there. Guys, just look at the size of this porch you have right off your room. So much space to sit out here. Of course it is a bit cold. But just think about it, in the summertime, you can come out here, sit in a rocking chair. Look how nice this is. Just hang out, rock back and forth. Maybe have a, a tropical concoction. Very snowy day. Like I said, it's very cold out here. <laughs> All right, headed back inside. There's one thing I haven't shown you guys, and it's right there. Let's get to it. And that is, of course, the bathroom. Upon entering, you've got these nice marble floors. Just look at how beautiful this bathroom is. Of course, the sink area, you've got dual sinks here. Absolutely lovely. Nice big mirror for beautification. You can see you've got this lovely tub. Man. That is beautiful. Imagine having this in your house. Obviously, it's no secret that I am a fat guy. And just look at all the space in this tub. You seriously could probably have a small pool party. Gets a thumbs up from me. And over here you have the toilet area, which yes, it is by itself. You can shut the door off and do your business all in private. And then over here, you have a full stand-up shower with rain head. Absolutely lovely. All right, let's head out. I'm very excited to be staying at this hotel because I've driven past like the exit for it many times on the way back to Kentucky around the holidays when we go see our family. Plus, it's 200 years old. How cool is that? It's loaded with history. Presidents have stayed here. In fact, this hotel received the first transmission on the very first transatlantic cable between the US and Britain, and that's because James Buchanan was staying here at the time. This was his summer residence, and they sent it here. At least that's my understanding, I could be wrong. <laughs> Just been kind of walking around and exploring. Found this fire pit right here. One thing I can definitely tell you is that this resort is massive. Seriously, from end to end, it's probably like a 10 minute walk. 
So this place is called the Omni Resorts Bedford Springs because, well, the actual resort was built on several springs. In fact, the pool, the indoor pool is fed by an indoor, or rather, a spring, which is really cool. And the spa here, the spa has a pool as well, also fed by a spring, which is really cool. And of course, this place is a resort, so it's got like a golf course, multiple pools, a lovely spa. There's a lot to do here. It's hiking and all sorts of stuff. There is a coffee shop. Please ring bell for service. Thank there you. you. Go. Thank you. All right, before we go to the pool, I came back to the room. Holly is now here with me. How was the spa, Holly? I wanted to show you guys what was on that tray they gave us. We have some dried apricots. We have a little jar of honey. More honey. There's a lot of honey. A little piece of toast and two different kinds of cheese. How is it? They told me it was locally sourced honey. Oh, it's super good. And the combination of flavors, excellent. The cheese combined with the honey it's causing my taste buds to dance side to side, almost like they're doing the locomotion. All right, Holly, you ready to go swim? I'm ready to go swim. What do you think about this hotel and its historical significance? I think it's very interesting. I had no idea that such a historically significant hotel existed in the middle of Pennsylvania. Look, there's a fitness studio, which we won't be using. And here it is, fed by a spring. It's the spring water pool. This pool is open 24 hours a day, which is awesome. Well, look how cool this place is. Guys, the water is incredibly warm. Well, good morning from the Omni here in Bedford Springs. How did you sleep, Holly? Excellent. How did you sleep? Terrible. There was a ghost. Stop. <laughs> no, I, I slept great. Uh, if this place is haunted, we certainly did not have any of those experiences. No, no. Last night we ate at 1796, which is a restaurant and bar slash tavern. And today, where are we eating at? We're eating at the Crystal Room. The Crystal Room, which is what? It is their main all day dining restaurant. This place is fancy inside, I know. All right, through the magic of editing, we are back in the room now. Final thoughts on breakfast, Holly. Good, delicious. And final thoughts on the hotel and the resort as a whole. It was very nice, we'd recommend. It was luxurious, it was relaxing, it was historic, it was good. I also agree, fantastic place. We are here for just one night, but I already wanna come back for sure. And it's only an hour from us, which is excellent yes. here in Bedford, PA. All right, well that wraps it up from us. Any final thoughts, Holly Molly? Nope.